Get it from my baby, bye, baby, what's me? Great check, I think we got one. <laughs> it's trap season, bro. E heartbreaking on the daily, can you save me? Hey guys, so welcome back to Shanae's Corner. Thank you guys for tuning in and watching with me today. You guys already know we're in store for another fun video. Fun, fun, entertain. We're in for another fun video. Fun, inspirational, helpful, tutorial, whatever. We in for a video today. Thank you guys for tuning in and watching with me. As you guys can see, I went red. It's not as like... <laughs> burgundy as i would have liked it to come out but this is pretty safe so i play it safe so before we get into today's video make sure you guys are subscribing liking commenting sharing turning my post notifications bell on because i'm lit and that's it so today's video is going to be another highly anticipated video people have always 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 hit me up ask me how i do it what other softwares I use, just things like that. So today I'm gonna show you guys, I edit all my YouTube videos right from my iPhone XR, no computer, no other apps, nothing. I use one app, one phone, and I do it. I just do the thing, you know, I, I get it done, I do it, I do it. But before I get into showing you guys how I edit my fabulous YouTube video, make sure you guys are subscribing, liking, sharing, turning my post notifications bell on because you don't want to miss a video from me. I'm only getting better, I promise you guys. Like you never, ever want to miss a video from Shanae's Corner. We have a lot of things coming, so many things in the works and if you don't have my post notifications bell on, you're going to miss it and you don't want to miss it and that's it. So before we get into how I edit my video, you guys need to download iMovie. That is the app I use. We can do this step by step. I'm, gonna, I'm going to try to be as detailed as possible, answer all questions, because there's some things like when I first started using iMovie, I was like, how do you do that? And people would tell me like, oh, I use iMovie. And I'm like, but I'm using iMovie and I don't know how to do that. So there is so many things you can do on iMovie. And every day I learn something new about that app, so I'm going to try to fill you guys in as much as I possibly can, be as detailed as possible, give you guys the best, answer any questions you may have, duh, yeah, answer any questions you may have, just try to be detailed as possible, and that is my promise, and that is my word, so make sure you guys download iMovie, and then we'll get right into this tutorial. There was something else I needed to say, I'm trying to... Yes, if I don't answer all the questions in this video, feel free to leave your question in my comments box. We will do a part two of this video if you guys would like to see it. I'm also going to show you guys how I edit my thumbnails from my phone. So be on the lookout for that video. Make sure the post notification bell is on because if they're on, you won't miss that video. Duh. So that's that. Let's go ahead and download iMovie and then we're gonna go ahead and get into how I edit my videos okay so I wasn't sure exactly how I wanted to show you guys how I edit my video I thought about doing like screen within my screen but it would just be too complicated you guys wouldn't be able to see like where my fingers are going so I thought that I'm just gonna show you from my phone it's a pretty clear view why my screen look like that it's a it's a pretty clear view. So right now I'm in in hold on. Let me see. Get up on y'all. <laughs> okay, so right now I am in the app iMovie. So we're gonna click we're gonna click into iMovie. This is ridiculous. I'm gonna go to my projects. I'm gonna click make a new project, a movie. I'm gonna go in find my intro video within my photos. It might take a while. It's all the way in the bottom. It's like buried and I try to add it to my favorites, but it just never pops up. So I don't know. So we're finding my um, intro video. 15. Da, 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 da. Okay, I got it. Got my intro video right there. I'm going to select that. 
to add to my video. I'm gonna go back up to where the video is. All right, videos right here. I'm gonna use my most recent video, my giveaway video. So I have selected my both my intro and the video I chose to use. I'm gonna go ahead and click Create Movie. So it brings me to the end of the video just so I can play it and it will start me Get back money, over. Money, oh, masks are chilling my face. So the intro is going to play. Okay, so right here, you guys see like I wasn't ready. So I'm going to pause it. I'm going to pause it and I'm going to bring it back just to before when I said, hey. So right here, I'm going to click it. And then I'm going to click down here, the bottom of my screen, split. Oh, hold on. Split. So I'm obviously going to take out the part where I wasn't ready yet. Duh. I'm obviously going to take it out. So I'm just going to go right here to delete and it's going to. Rewind it back. I always rewind it back just to make sure that I did it. Like, it's just flawless. It's just flawless, honey. So bring it back to, like, my intro before it ends a little bit. Let it play from there. So, boom. I like how it fades right into the video from the intro. So, nice flow. So, now, let it play. watching with me. If you're new here, make sure you... If you're new here, make sure you go ahead. So I choked on my words. <laughs> I choked on my words right here. Normal. I know you guys are like, <laughs> you do that all the time. Yeah, I do. So I choked on my words right here. So if you're new here, make sure if you're new here, make sure. So right there, I'm gonna I'm gonna drag my finger, bring it back, split again. Make sure if you're new here, make sure you go and then i'm going i'm going to basically like capture that moment where i choked on my words split so basically i have it isolated right here so it's all isolated so what i'm gonna do is select it delete it so now it's gonna go right in from it's gonna jump a little but it's gonna go like i didn't even mess up my words if you're new here you go ahead over and hit that subscribe button right boom now. So that's one thing I can show you guys that I do. That's how I, that's basically just how if you say you, like me, like right now, like you're choking on your, on your words or you can't think of what to say or you stumble. And I know how tedious it is of a process to like do videos over and over and over and over again. It gets annoying, like a lot of footage and having a lot of takes, it just gets chaotic. So what I found helpful for myself is... And like, I'll just take a three second pause and then I'll say it right again. I can always go in and just edit that part out. It's way better than having like seven different tries in your phone. So I'll jump from there. So now I'm going to show you guys how I do my transitions. I'm going to go to right here where I broke the video up. Click the transition. Say I wanted to like swipe. So I'm going to show you guys. It's going to... Oh, I didn't show you guys. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I clicked, I clicked the transition. I clicked the swipe button down here. And then I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play it back just to make sure that the transition is okay with me. So you saw how the... Like it... It was kind of like a door coming in. So... Boom. So that transition is like it helps me with the word jump you know you can't really notice it so much because you're paying attention to the screen switching so that's another good part of it <laughs> that's how i do my transitions like say i'm transitioning from my intro to my actual video that is how i will do it <clears throat> and now usually i would add music to the background of my videos obviously not this video because i was talking a lot and Obviously, there will be no music in this video because I am talking and trying to inform you guys on something. Anyway, so I'm going to show you guys how to add music. I'm going to just go ahead. 
go back to the start of the video i'm gonna go up here in my right hand corner might be my right your left whatever right here corner it's gonna bring me to videos photos just the drop down menu of what i want to do i'm gonna go to audio i'm gonna click audio right here I'm gonna click soundtracks. This is all music that iMovie provides, obviously not copyrighted music. So you don't have to worry about if you put this music in your YouTube videos, you know, would it be flagged for copyright? Because it's not. So um, I would just pick a song. Let me see if I like this one. All right, whatever. We're gonna go with it. I'm and I just click, I just click add, and I'll add it to my video. I obviously do not want it to play through my intro, so I'm going to um, bring it to the foreground. I and you see how it's still, um, it's still like gonna play with my intro. So what I'm gonna do is I've clicked it, I've highlighted it. I'm gonna take my finger and drag it, drag it, drag it, drag it, drag it, drag it, just until the intro is over. So now when the my actual video starts, the music would start in the background. So it's like background music, but say, um, I know in some of my videos, if you guys have noticed, uh, sometimes the music is low, then sometimes when I'm not talking, the music gets really high. So I'm also gonna show you guys how to do that really quickly. So, um, so when I want my music to be low or be high, I'm going to go to where the video is split. Yeah, split. Basically, you can say split. I'm going to make sure the line is lined up so that everything happens like boom, boom, boom. Happens like it should be. So I'm going to click on my music. I'm going to split the music. I'm going to click back on the music that I split. I'm going to click on the sound. What did I just do? I'm going to... Oh, God. Uh. it's split. So I'm going to click on the sound button, the little speaker, microphone, whatever. I'm going to click on that. The music is always at 100% once you just drop it in your videos and do nothing else to it. So if you guys are always wondering, like, why is the music playing so loud? You know, like, you can't hear it talking over me that's why so usually when it's a part where i'm talking i would bring the music down to 50 50 59 whatever my big fingers can accomplish the closest thing to 50 for me because that music that means the music is playing really low you guys can still hear me talking so now that so now it went from low to high so that is how i would add music into my videos and last but not least, I don't think it was least. I'm really trying not to forget anything, guys. I'm, I want to be as, you know, like, informative as I possibly can. Um, lastly, an, oh, another thing I would do is pictures within my videos. Like, say I want to demonstrate something within my videos, you know, like, I'll point up there. Boom, pow, it'll pop up. So, I'm going to click on the scene I want the image to pop up in get out of the sound options i'm gonna go into add i'm all the way i'm already in soundtrack so i have to go back back mom i'm gonna go to my photos oh i'm just gonna take this random selfie of myself instead of putting it like just adding it in because it'll add it as if it was another part of the video and we obviously don't want that we just want the picture within the picture you're gonna click these three little dots and it's going to give you the options as cutaway, picture in picture, split screen, blue screen, whatever. So I'm obviously going to do a picture in picture. Hold on. I have to see. It went away. Okay, so I'm obviously going to do a picture in picture. Rewind it back just to make sure that it is lined up the way I want it. And the picture just magically appears. If the picture is not in the desired spot, I would just click on the picture down here. It gives you the options. <laughs> it gives you the options in the corner to like move the picture, drag the picture to the position. Say I want it up here, down here. Basically, if I was pointing, you know, like where I would point to and just drop the picture in. So I positioned it to be in the top right corner, not covering my face. 
and that is where it pops up so that is how you guys would add picture in picture or whatever cutaway green screen in your iMessage videos I'm also about to show you guys really really quickly how to add like clips like I don't know if you guys noticed but in some of my videos I have I don't know like little clips of like me like funny people like the video with me and Sadia it had the little like three second video of that guy laughing so I'm gonna show you guys really quickly how to do that so I'm gonna go to a part where there's like no edits All, again click it go to my plus sign I gotta get something I screen record so let me go to my videos recently added I actually just tried to screen record this so what I'm going to do is just select it. I'm going to just put the plus sign and it'll add the screen record in my video as if, you know, say it was like a little funny clip or something. It'll just add it in the video. It's obviously way too long. So what I would do, highlight, highlight, highlight. Oh my God, it's really long. What the heck? I'm going to split it because I don't know why this clip is so long. Split it. I obviously don't want it that long or there's probably a part where I just, we can skip. So what I'm going to do is just bring, um, dra drag it into the desired part and then it will just play. Really? And that is how you would add videos within your videos. I'm mid allergy attack right now, so my eyes are just like turning red. I'm trying to get through this video, get this information out to y'all so we can all be great. Duh. So, yeah, so that's how you add the just a clip in your video if you wanted to. I'm gonna slide down because I am done. Now it's time to add my end screen. I'm gonna go to my favorite, uh, not my favorite videos, but my favorite photos because my end screen is actually saved where it should be. I'm gonna click my favorites, click my end photo, my end screen, just add it in. And it's gonna play like butter, baby! <laughs> So for tuning in, I hope I was just as informative as possible. I hope I gave you guys all the tools, the tips, everything you guys need to know. I hope I answered everyone's questions, any concerns or anything you guys were wondering about how I edit my videos, how I do my um, editing process, just everything. I hope I answered all those questions for you guys. I just wanted to come do this quick little video apps I use. What do I do? You know, just the whole spiel about what goes on behind the scenes of the process of making my videos. I hope I was as detailed and as informative as I possibly can be. Don't forget, if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, you guys can leave them in the comments box, and we will do a part two to this video need be. You guys just have to request it. Like, you guys know that. You ask, I'll do so thank you guys for tuning in watching with me if you haven't already make sure you subscribe like comment share because we lit over here turn on my post notification bell because you never want to miss a post from me thank you guys for tuning in watching with me we'll be back in another few days with another video take care